I'm Catherine Whitehouse and I'm a nutrition advisor with Kentucky Equine Research. I came in 2009 as a research intern and then I had the opportunity to stay on with the company when the World Equestrian Games were in Lexington. And then I transitioned um, from the internship to do my master's at the University of Kentucky with Kentucky Equine Research. And then I spent some time in the research barn supervising the interns and then have transitioned out of the barn into the office into an advising role. I am hands off with the management of the interns and the horses, but um, oversee sort of the iCook program. So iCook stands for the Institutional Animal Care and Use Committee. Um, we have an internal program here with an attending veterinarian um, and different um, committee members. So we look over the research protocols that are proposed to ensure that the horse's health and welfare is um, our top priority. The studies are designed to answer the questions we're aiming for, um, to reduce duplication and overuse of the research horses. So it's really important when you're doing research, especially with horses, to try and reduce the amount of variables in the research. Um, we reduce that by just having one breed. We've chose thoroughbreds because we're in central Kentucky. It's a popular breed to have. They're also very athletic. We can ask a lot of research um, questions that involve intense exercise. Most of the thoroughbreds have come from thoroughbred sales um, here in central Kentucky. Um, as the years have gone on, we also have some horses that we've claimed from racing. For the digestibility studies, it makes life easier to have geldings. We do have a few mares in the research herd. The qualities we look for in a research horse is we would like them sound, so we would like good confirmation so they can perform on the treadmill and on the training track. Horses that have a great appetite and not overly picky so we can utilize them in our palatability trials but also digestibility. It's very important that horses on digestibility have a good appetite and will clean up everything um, to help get good quality results. So we have um, different groups of research horses. We might have a core group that we use for exercise because they're sound, they're athletic. We have some horses that may be just used for palatability and digestibility. Sometimes they will stay in a low maintenance program um, so they continually keep their fitness. Sometimes if they've been turned out prior to the research, we will bring them back in, start them back on the walker, introduce the treadmill slowly, sort of three times a week, and slowly build up, um, introducing canter speeds and increasing the duration on the treadmill. But we will have at least um, 60 days prior to starting a study where we'll sort of begin conditioning those horses. So the farm we have is 150 acres. Um, we have several barns on the property that we use for research. So when the horses are on trial, most of the time they'll be housed in the barns overnight, but turned out in small paddocks um, with a companion or even maybe in a small group. So they get turned out, um, they can play with their friends. If they're not on trial, then they'll be turned out into um, larger paddocks, 24 seven. We have some horses that stay in the herd until um, they retire. They might perform palatability studies. They may be involved in our digestibility studies. And at some point in time, they just will become retirees that spend their days out in the paddocks.